Hi guys, Jen here of Gadget Pilipinas. It has been a month since I have the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Today I'm going to share with you the things that I love about the device and the ones that I would have wanted done differently by the Korean tech giant. But before anything else, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Home Credit. They have a back to school campaign and if you want to know more about it, stay tuned until the very end of the video for a quick message. Let us kick things off with the build and design of the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Samsung's been on a mission to make their foldable slimmer and slicker and they obviously tried everything they can to glow up the Galaxy Z Fold 6. It's a tad wider and shorter than its predecessor which might not seem like a big deal but it makes a difference in how it feels in your hand. While it is not as slim as the Honor Magic V2 or the upcoming Magic V3, it is still very impressive how Samsung is trying to stay relevant with their latest foldable. But do I want a slimmer Galaxy Z Fold in the future? Absolutely. In terms of build, the phone's rocking an armor aluminum frame, giving it that premium feel without weighing you down too much. You will probably remember this frame from the Galaxy S24 series. Samsung was able to bring the feature over on their latest foldable device. At 239 grams, it's still a hefty device, but I would not complain much about this because this phone gives me uh, tablet features as well. Still, I should say that it would have been better had they managed to make it a bit lighter than its predecessor. Now, let's talk about one of the coolest features of this device. It's got an IP48 water resistance rating, which is a slight improvement from last year's IPX8. That means you can use it in the rain or even accidentally drop it in water at 1.5 meters in 13 minutes without freaking you out. It's pretty impressive for a device with so many moving parts. Now, speaking of moving parts, let's unfold the details on the hinge. This is where Samsung's really flexing their engineering muscles as they have done so in the past. The new dual rail hinge is both stronger and thinner than before. Samsung says it's good for at least 200,000 folds. That's like 10 years of opening and closing the device. And bonus points, the crease on the main display is less noticeable now. Obviously, you've got two screens to play with here. The cover screen is a 6.3-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display. It's slim, but don't let that fool you. It's actually super usable for quick tasks. Now, unfold the device and wha-bam! No? You're greeted with a massive 7.6 dynamic AMOLED 2X display. Now, both screens rock a 120Hz refresh rate, so everything looks buttery smooth. And for all of you Stylus fans out there, the main screen supports S Pen input. I cannot show how much about this in action because Samsung did not send us an S Pen for us to try out. I got to try it during the embargo session last month and the experience was not too far from my Galaxy S24 Ultra. The only downside is that you need to have a special case where you can easily stash the S Pen. And yes, the S Pen on your Galaxy S24 Ultra does not work on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Under the hood, this device is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 4 Galaxy processor, paired with 12 gigs of RAM. Now, playing premium Android games on this device is not a problem, and the overall performance is somewhat the same as my Galaxy S24 Ultra. There are times though that I feel that it falls short when compared to my ROG Phone 8 Pro, which is still the fastest smartphone we have tested this year. Now, let's snap into the camera setup. Samsung's made some impressive strides here. You've got a 50 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel telephoto with three times optical zoom. For selfies, there's a 10 megapixel camera on the cover and a four megapixel under display camera on the main screen. But it's not just about the hardware. Samsung's thrown in some AI magic to level up your photos. We're talking about improved image quality, especially in the tricky lighting situations. The Super HDR feature is particularly cool, making your pics pop with enhanced details and vibrant colors. Now, let's talk about the software. 
The Galaxy Z Fold 6 runs on Samsung's One UI and it's packed with features tailored for foldable experience. But the real star of the show here is the Galaxy AI features. You've got Circle to Search, which lets you search for anything just by circling it on the screen. There's also Interpreter for real-time translation in face-to-face -face convos and Note Assist to help organize your thoughts. The translation and transcription features are particularly impressive. If you're someone who uh, deals with multiple languages regularly, this could be a game changer for you. And if you want to make your note taking quite easier, its voice recorder with transcription feature is a top-notch application. Audio-wise, the Z Fold 6 does a decent job. It's clear and gets the job done, but if we're being honest, it could be louder and pack a bit more punch. But hey, that's what Bluetooth speakers are for, right? It is also understandable that it lacks a 3.5mm headphone jack due to its slim profile when unfolded. Battery life is always a hot topic with foldables, and the Z Fold 6 comes with a 4400mAh battery. It's the same size as the previous model, which is okay, I guess. Most users should be able to get through a full day, but if you're really pushing it with that big screen, you might need to top up before bedtime. It supports 25 watts fast charging, so you can juice up pretty quickly when needed. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the price. Starting at 106,000 pesos here in the Philippines and going up to 131,000 for the top model, this is not exactly an impulse buy. It's definitely aimed at those who have the cash to splash on cutting edge tech. So, what's the verdict? The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is a refined, polished foldable that showcases Samsung's continued innovation. It's not a revolutionary leap from the previous model, mind you, but the improvements in the hinge, camera, and overall performance are definitely noteworthy. It's a productivity powerhouse, perfect for multitasking and getting stuff done on the go. The AI features add another layer of functionality that could be really useful for the right user. But let's be real. This is not for everyone. The high price tag puts it firmly in the luxury category. If you're the type who needs the latest and greatest, and you've got the budget for it, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is an impressive piece of tech that will turn heads and maybe even change how you use your phone. For the rest of us, it's a glimpse into the future of smartphones. Who knows? In a few years, this might be the new normal. But for now, it's a premium device for those who want to be on the cutting edge of mobile technology. Now, before I end, here's a quick word from our sponsor, Home Credit. Ready for school? Check out Home Credit, your partner to easily buy a cool laptop or tablet. Alam ko marami sa inyo ang naghahanap ng laptop o tablet kasi pasok na naman. Sakto yan kasi Home Credit is your go-to for grabbing the latest gadgets without any fuss. And guess what? Wala kayo magiging problema sa mga extra charges. With Home Credit, you can get the gadgets you want for school with 0% interest. Whether it's a powerful laptop for big projects or a more affordable but a reliable one like the Acer Aspire 3, Home Credit has what you need. With this laptop, pwede mong matapos ang mga assignments mo with all the Microsoft Office apps you can install, browse the internet, and a lot more. For its price, kompleto ang I.O. nito at may HDMI port pa para pwede kang mag-present sa projector. But don't wait too long. This 0% special offer won't be around forever. So get ready for school with Home Credit's easy payment options. Make your dreams come true and get ready for school with Home Credit where you can afford the gadgets you need. Home Credit is the key. Check out the links below in or in our bio to know more. And that wraps up our look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. What do you think? Is this the future of smartphones or just a fancy toy for tech enthusiasts? Let us know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all things tech. Until next time, keep folding and unfolding your world.